back to the uh, Dyson Sphere program. Uh, you join me with a complete Dyson Sphere. So um, it's fully finished, patched up. There's no more solar sails flying into uh, uh, into the shell. So um, yeah, just wanted to show you that. Maybe we can go and just fly past and, and take a closer look at it. Yeah, the, uh, I've enjoyed creating the guides so far. Let me know if there are any others that, uh, that you're interested in. Um, I think it's a pretty cool game. I think I've said in the past, I think the Dyson Sphere produces a little bit too little power for the amount of effort that um, you put into it. Like, I think this produces 10 or 12 gigawatts now, which is... You know, it's not very much. It's uh, like I was expecting more in the trillion gigawatts. You know, maybe even more for the kind of uh, uh, scope and scale of it. Um, but anyway, I, I think creating the Dyson sphere is pretty fun. The optimizing the various production lines is pretty cool. The um, the amount of things that have to be created and scaled up for the Dyson Sphere is quite nice as well because it makes you like solve all these different kinds of problems. There are a few different types of uh, production lines. You know, there's some where you uh, where you input into a building and then you get something on the other side. There are others where um, you have to like the scale is really important. Like when you're producing. Uh, when you're refining basic materials into like refined materials, for example, of silicon and that sort of stuff. Um, then there are some for the deuterium production, for example, where uh, it's really about the amount of hydrogen that you can pump through the through the building that determines how much you are producing. Um, and then with the research labs, it's it's like different again, where you have to uh, uh, produce hashes based on input, and you can stack them up in a, in a very big way. So I think the variety of different challenges that this game throws at you is pretty cool. The, uh, the interstellar and the nature of it, the scale of the thing that you produce, the Dyson Sphere, is pretty I think it fulfills and scratches some of them. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, let me know if there are any other guides that, that you can think of that you'd like to see. Um, I'm happy to produce those as well, although I'm out of energy, so I'm not able to control uh, the mech anymore. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at the Dyson Sphere, and it looks like we're going to be forced to fly away from it in this case. But uh, thanks for watching, and um, talk to you next time.